The Forgotten Room Welcome to the oldest house on Elm Street, a place shrouded in mystery and whisperings of the past. Today, Sarah and John, a young couple, are moving into their new home, unaware of the sinister secrets it holds. The camera follows Sarah and John as they step out of their car, looking both excited and apprehensive. They carry boxes into the dark, dusty interior of the house. The house, neglected and overgrown, seems to watch them with silent anticipation. Each creaking floorboard and cobwebbed corner hints at years of forgotten stories and lingering spirits. Sarah wanders through the house, opening doors to reveal old furniture and forgotten memories. Eventually, she finds a door at the end of a long, dark hallway. Curiosity can be a dangerous thing. Sarah discovers a locked door, hidden away from the rest of the house. She calls John, and together they force it open. They step inside, revealing a room that is disturbingly pristine, unlike the rest of the house. The camera pans around the room, revealing walls covered in childlike drawings. Inside, they find a room untouched by time. The walls are covered in drawings, twisted, nightmarish scenes of children with distorted faces, dark figures lurking in corners, and grotesque creatures. In the center, a small wooden bed, its sheets tattered and old, holds a worn-out doll. Sarah picks up the doll, and the camera focuses on her uneasy expression. This room holds the memories of a tormented child, and as Sarah and John uncover its secrets, they awaken something dark and malevolent. The house, once silent, now hums with a sinister energy. As night falls, strange things begin to happen. The camera captures shadows moving, whispers in the darkness, and the feeling of being watched. The past has a way of creeping into the present, and in this house, the line between the two is dangerously thin. Sarah and John soon realize they are not alone. The spirits of the forgotten room stir, seeking recognition and revenge. The camera shows Sarah and John trying to sleep, but they are restless. The shadows grow darker, the whispers louder. In the dead of night, when the boundary between our world and the next is weakest, the true horror of the forgotten room reveals itself. The couple's dreams are invaded by nightmares, and they wake to find the room changed, as if the drawings on the walls have come to life. Trapped in a house that is more than just a home, Sarah and John must confront the malevolent force that resides within. To survive, they must uncover the truth behind the forgotten room and the child who once lived there. The final scene shows Sarah and John standing in the room, determined yet terrified, as the walls close in and the spirits draw nearer. In the end, will they be able to escape the clutches of the past, or will they become just another chapter in the haunted history of Elm Street?